Hello YouTube, it's William here with Gopher Numbers Trains. <clears throat> and today, I've got another unboxing for you. So I know my videos have stopped coming as quickly within the last few days, but um, hopefully I'll be back on track. I was just incredibly busy with a bunch of other stuff. But anyways, for now, um, we got more rare Tyco things. So in keeping with the themes set by the acquisition of my other Canadian Pacific 080, I found this guy listed on eBay at an auction, ended up winning for about $35, if I'm remembering correctly. I think it might have been closer to $38 or $36. But um, yeah, anyways, let's just go ahead and get right into opening it up. I've been told so many times that I need a tripod, so here we are. Here's this piece of garbage, and we'll set it up quick. I should have done this before the video, but you know. Whatever, I'm here, I'm doing it, and that's what matters. All right. Oh, I can crank it taller. There we go. All right, sorry that took so long, but anyways, let's get right into it. So, um, I did have one of these for a very brief moment, but it went off in a trade for a few other things. And in hindsight, I never really should have gotten rid of that one. Um, I did like that one. I hope I can get this one into similar condition because that one was in fantastic shape. Oh boy, packing peanuts. This is going to have to go top end up. And, uh, looks like there's no box, but they did throw some cardboard around it for sturdiness, which is good. Oh, the mysterious mystery. It's got like a box inside of a box. I appreciate it, if nothing else, for the functionality. But let's go ahead and crack it open. It appears to be still taped on the ends. All right, if you've got any guesses as to what it is, leave that down in the comments then. But let's go ahead and find where they wrapped it up last. There she is. Finally got another one. We have a new Tyco Great Northern Oedo. First impressions are pretty good. It's actually very clean. Um, I still think the other one that I had was a bit cleaner. But, you know, there it is. Okay, so let's have a quick diagnostic look. It's going to need new traction tires. Um, probably a nice cleaning, but other than that, it looks like it's in good shape. Um, let's uh, see if it'll run. Ignore that. It's not what we're after right now, anyways. Okay, <clears throat> I gave it some power there, and obviously no movement was spotted, but let's do it again. Oh, uh, it's making some noise. I'm just going to shut that thing up. We're at full power. The headlight's not on. I just want to verify that the track is getting power as well. Let's turn this guy on. Okay, so track definitely has power. All right, we're up at full power now. Oh, a little bit of life out of the engine. Maybe it's just some dirty wheels. Wants to wake up. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Just a little bit. Oh. Yeah, it's waking up. It's waking up. All right, once this hits five minutes, I'm going to stop trying because I don't want to damage anything obviously i'm gonna try lifting the power torque block up oh got some movement but it's very dry you know what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna see if i can get a little bit of motion out of it now this thing's very oh the traction tires are just completely gone now obviously this thing is bone dry so i'm just gonna give it a really really light well almost like a dusting with some labelle 102 to see if it'll wake up this is no substitute for proper lubrication, so please don't do this um, unless you're going to be overhauling it anyways and you just want to see if the engine has any life left in it. 
here we go. Oh, there we go. I don't know if you heard that or not, but it sounded a lot happier, even just for a second there. Maybe not. All right, we're well past five minutes, so I'm gonna stop trying that for now. Um, looks like it's just some electrical stuff, maybe some loose contacts, maybe it just needs a cleaning, or maybe it's any number of other issues, but you know. Um, uh, yeah, it's gonna need a complete overhaul and rebuild, so maybe I'll have a video on that. But uh, anyways, I just wanted to thank you guys for watching and joining me for this unboxing. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.